Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this fabulous brick and mortar running shop located on Main Street in Westminster, Maryland. Thank you so much for checking out our channel. If you like the videos that you're seeing, give us a like and subscribe. It certainly helps us find some new people. Um, today we have a really big updated shoe. It's the Ultra Provision 6. Uh, this shoe is technically due to come out in early November of 2021. It's possible it's going to come out closer to mid or even late November, depending on all the supply chain issues. But in theory, November of 2021 is the new Ultra Provision 6. It's a shoe that's sort of been missing from Ultra's regular lineup. They, they've had provisions before, but it hasn't been a great provisions, and at least from, from our perspective and sort of what we've been doing here. And like, even though I carry all these fantastic shoes behind me on the wall and some really fun brands and some different stuff that you might not see out in the general population of running shops or just sporting goods shops, a mid cushion stability shoe is still what sells the most here. Stuff like, you know, like a Brooks Adrenaline, you know, something that's got some stability, not too heavy, not too light, right smack in the middle. And Ultra really didn't have a awesome shoe in that category. The old provisions were, were just not as good as some of the other shoes that Ultra is putting out, but from midsole, from performance, from fit. Um, so like I pulled out two old ones because you can kind of just see how different the shoe is. This was the last, this was the four and it's narrow and the upper wasn't fantastic. This is my old pair, so it's kind of beat up and dirty, but it didn't have the same stabilization to it. It just didn't fit as well. It didn't kind of look as well, and um, they made some nice updates. The Provision 5 has been a much better updated shoe. It's softer, it fits a little bit better, but some of the characteristics and stuff that I didn't love on the old version sort of bled its way over into the new one. So and while it was an improvement from where it had been, there's still some stuff that was lacking in the old provision. And it was hard when people would come in and say, like, I need a stability shoe from Ultra. And, the, you know, the paradigm can be a lot of shoe, especially it's a lot of price. It's a lot of stack height. It's just a big shoe. So if somebody is like, I don't know, let's just say a new high school runner or just somebody new to running and they wanted to try Ultra, but they had some stability issues. That's a big ask putting them in a paradigm. So there really wasn't that, I don't want to say intro to stability shoe, but just something that was more mainstream that more people could get into that we felt comfortable pulling consistently. So it's great to have such a nice update as the Provision 6. I mean, you could tell right away, it's got all kinds of different features that we're gonna dive into that's different from the predecessors. Just one kind of funny thing that I always, I always found funny about the Provision, we've been carrying the shoe for Ultras for, since we opened in 2014, and the old Provisions were cool because it was built on a wedge. It actually was sort of tilted up from the inside to the outside, so the whole shoe kind of went this way. And I always found it funny because, you know, Ultra's big claim to fame is that it's zero drop. You know, that's a big part of what they do is that the heel and the toe are on the same platform. And it's so different from everybody else out there. So they were like, we're going to take a stability shoe and you know, all your shoes are like this. We're going to go even crazier. We're going to go like this. We're going to put our shoe like that. And I just thought that was really interesting. And again, it's sort of like that philosophy of like, we're going to do and experiment with things and see how it plays with the body and make sure we're giving a great experience for our customers. It's not just the same cookie cutter type stuff that we're finding from other of the big brands out there. So anyway, now we're back to the provision six. It has got a bunch of new updates from the previous model. Most importantly to me is the midsole. You know, this shoe just didn't have the same snap. It just didn't have the same funness that some of the other Ultra stuff that's out there now. So this is the first shoe of the first version of the provision that has the Ego midsole. And again, for, for those of you who don't know what the Ego midsole is, that is Ultra's proprietary bouncy, super light, super softy, but still explosive feeling midsole that they've been putting in a lot of their different versions. It started with the Ultra Escalante, and now we see it in, vir in virtually every shoe that they're doing. We're seeing new models that are coming, and they're getting rid of just their traditional or some of the old midsoles that we're seeing, and we're putting in a much better, much more plush experience. So we've added some new midsole. We've made the shoe like softer and more bouncy than its predecessor. And I, I, again, this it's such like a, a sort of a low profile shoe, you know, with the zero drop, and even the color schemes, like, it always just to me it reminded me of just like a casual knock around shoe than something that needed like a responsive, fun, big mid cushion stability shoe. And you get that here. And the other thing you can see right away is the stack height increase too. So now this shoe is more in line with the Torrent as far as the stack height goes. So we've added a couple millimeters of just more better protective cushion when we're landing and a more explosive, cushiony, fun midsole to it. So those are some really nice updates that we've seen across the board from the new one to the up one, up to, up to the new one. The upper is also much different. You know, going back to sort of the fit of the, of the four and even the next one, the five, it doesn't have as much flex through, the, uh, through, the, uh, through our materials, through the, through the outsole of the shoe, excuse me, through the upper on the shoe. It just didn't have as much fun play and give where this one has much more to it. It's a little more flexible. It's not as like tight. When you put the old one on and you tightened it and cinched it, it would sort of get like burrito tonguey. It would kind of fold on itself. And this doesn't seem to have that. It has a little bit more depth to it for a higher instep as well, which is just gonna give a better fit to it. 
And now we're looking at sort of the outsole of the shoe, and it's totally different from where we've been. Totally different. And it's not just the fact that there's more rubber on it that's a little more protected on your crash zones here, but with this new outsole, even the design that they put into it is designed to kind of help slow down pronation, whether you're somebody who's going some overpronation or some underpronation, some supination. The outsole design on this shoe is designed to sort of slow down the pronation and then kind of speed up your, your flowingness through your gait cycle there. And it still has this inner flex, so this shoe is designed to kind of, depending which way that you're, you're landing on the outside, which way you're pronating, it's going to kind of flex and move to kind of guide you and push you back through your neutral family there. So it's going to have some stability for somebody who's an overpronator or an underpronator. You're going to get some, you're going to get some love and you're going to get some help with this insole, with, this, with the new update here. It still has the Innovarch. So the Innovarch is, if you can see these little tabs here on the top, this was the piece that they, that they sort of put, in a, put on the map here. When you tighten your shoe, this piece lifts up and it sort of puts like a little net and a little webbing underneath your foot. It kind of designed to hold your foot in place better and give you just a little bit additional arch support built on that medial side there. So it's, it's subtle, but it's something that's different that again, we're seeing somebody a whole different way of trying to protect your stability on the shoe than we see a lot of the other stuff out there. So kind of a fun update. One thing they did get away from on the new version that I liked on the old ones is the, is the grooved, the grooved uh, insole that came with the shoe. That thought was kind of neat. Um, they've gotten away from that for whatever reason. I, you know, I never heard people say like it, it was like a, um, like it helped with, with any type of circulation issues and such. I just thought it was really nice and comfortable and something different. So for whatever reason, that has been gone on the updated shoe. Um, but some of the other bent things that we've added to it are certainly on a positive side. So while we've taken that out, the shoe's gotten lighter. On the men's side, the shoe went from 10.8 ounces down to 10.1. And on the women's side, we shaved almost half an ounce as well. So again, it's something that's going to be lighter, but more cushion, more stack height, more bounce, more wear on this too. Again, going back to my, my sort of my, my old pair here, they just kind of got beat up fast. Even if you, if you were a big fan of shoe, they didn't have as much durability as some of the other ultra stuff where this is definitely gonna give you some more extra life onto it. It's gonna be a much more durable shoe than we've seen from some of the ultra shoes out there. Um, and you're gonna have a little bit more stability in it from the other one too. So again, it's got the guide rails. It's gonna keep you from, protect, from rolling from the in or the out. And this now becomes your neutral companion if you're somebody who's looking at like a Torin, but you needed some extra stability. Now you can pivot over here to the provision and you're gonna find yourself in a nice place that's gonna give you some nice bounce, some nice stability. It's also fitting a little bit wider. I talked about in my paradigm review how we're going to have different types of levels of widths. This shoe is only going to come in one width. And as you've seen on some of the other stuff that's coming out from Ultra, from like the Lone Peak and the Torin, there's a standard and a wide. This is just going to come in one Ultra width. This is going to be called your standard width. And there's stuff that's going to be more on like the slim side of Ultra, stuff maybe like the Rivera. And then you're going to have stuff that's like on the big wide side, stuff that's, you know, like a wide Torin or a paradigm and such that they have even more width. This is right in the middle. But to me, it fits wider than my old guy. It just fits and feels wider than we had been before. And that had been sort of a knock on the, on the last two provisions. That it just wasn't as wide as some people like. So this can give you a little bit extra width on it as well. So we've added a bunch of fun features. It's going to make the shoe more durable, a little more stable, and just a more enjoyable ride. So it's nice to see finally something in that ultra family that's going to give you a little bit more than what they've been offering in that mid-cushion stability family. So I think it's going to be a great update to the ultra family. Um, a lot of good positive stuff. And if you've been in some of the previous models and you wanted to give us some insight down below about your personal experience with it, please do. I love reading the comments and such and hearing people who've had different unique experiences on the shoes. Um, if you're looking for gear, take a look on our website. Again, you're going to have to kind of keep tabs on when stuff's coming and going. Like a lot of places, supply chain has been crazy. So um, things are popping on stocks. Things are out of stock. Take, keep it a look. Uh, pop on our site. If you use promo code RUNMORE, you'll save yourself 10%. We'll ship it out for free, and we certainly appreciate it. As always, stay safe out there, and uh, we'll see you around town.